Round two of offending people with my opinions on books. These are the books which I will not be finishing like a cheesecake. <coughs> Pitch perfect reference. Just to confirm to you that these are just my opinions and you know in the grand scheme of life my opinions don't really matter that much so don't get offended. If this is the first video that you've ever seen of mine you're probably thinking wow this girl is so negative and pessimistic and bitter and I would say to you you are right. What's Left of Me by Kat Sang. I purchased this book because I didn't want to conform to the masses and buy what everybody else was buying in a pathetic attempt to feel more unique about myself. You know, I'm not weird, I'm limited edition, woohoo. Um, in this dystopia, everybody is born with two souls inside one body. But by a young age, one soul normally starts to lose dominance and they become more settled. But obviously, our main protagonist, she can't fit with the norm because... plot. And two souls remain in her body, which the government are like, no, you can't have two souls, you're a danger to society. No one knows why any of these people are dangerous to society. I was digging the beginning and I was thinking, wow, I don't need to read popular books. <laughs> but then halfway through, I remember thinking, the kids talk like they're 20. The other characters are alright. And by the end of the book, I was left feeling unloved, stale, like a disappointed piece of bread. Which is why I gave it a two and a half stars and I'm not gonna read it. Fire and Flood. Read Fire and Flood is just like Pokemon. Fire and Flood, the Hunger Games. Flood in the fire, fire and floods and floods and fires and Pokemon and just... No. How dare you disrespect the Hunger Games so much. Coming up, I have a very passionate, very shady, and very ranty sort of book review for this. So watch this space, as I did not like this book. <laughs> Next, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This reminds me of the time where I went to watch the film rendition in the cinema. There were a bunch of 12 year olds sitting right behind us and throughout the whole movie, they just kept whispering and giggling and So I calmly turned around and went shh, which they then responded by throwing popcorn at my head. Kids these days, they do not know how to respect the elderly. I just can't be bothered for the next books. Yeah. Does my face look bothered? Stated. Imagine having your memories gone and the government tells you you are a terrorist. What is the truth? Or what is reality? Is information all reliable? And it was another one of those books where I was thinking, I don't need to get with the mainstream. Good potential didn't live up to my hype. The writing was a bit too simple. If someone asked me what is gone about, I'll say I don't remember. I even had the audacity to pick up the second book, Hunger, um, which I slugged through on holiday. I just don't get like, gone is my hunger to read the series. Not that the hunger was ever there, but like, first you were slated, but now you are gone. What's left of me but fire and flood? <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that, all right? These are the books which I will not be continuing because I just do not care. Can you believe I still have some more series which I will not be continuing? I want to know which series are you not going to finish and I want to know why because I see too much positive stuff on booktube like I love this book, what about books that you don't like so we know what to avoid? Like, subscribe, comment, follow the blog, follow me, okay okay.